people love to slag Call of Duty. It's a global pastime. Between formulaic yearly installments, hideous balance issues, increasing amounts of bugs and technical glitches, and a schizophrenic haphazard approach to tone and setting, there's a lot to slag COD for. These and other criticisms certainly have merit and are hard to argue against, yet Call of Duty continues to be a yearly blockbuster pulling in billions in revenue for its parent company Activision and having legions of players online at any given time. Why is this? Why is the one franchise that is arguably the whipping boy of the entire gaming universe still chugging along with virtually no end in sight? The answer is obvious, yet no one wants to say it out loud. The Call of Duty games are good! No really, they are. With Call of Duty Vanguard set to release in November and me looking to break my ridiculous hiatus from YouTube, I'd like to take a moment to examine just why I personally like the Call of Duty franchise and continue to play it in spite of criticism. I feel that the COD games have a lot going for them, in spite of their flaws, and I find myself compelled to defend my purchase of popular multi-billion dollar whales of franchise entries even though they don't really need defending in the first place. Well then, let's get it on. Consistency. As a franchise, COD has a track record of reliably producing above average gameplay experiences. There are only a handful of entries that the community and press near totally dislike, and even entries that are critically panned still receive high marks. While not groundbreaking in the sense that the original Call of Duty and Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare were, the games nonetheless deliver on stylish, over-the-top action and breadth of Rudy 2D shooty gameplay to accompany it. The graphics, art, and animations are consistently first-rate, and the gameplay is top-class with very few able to match it. Which leads me to... Gunplay. An important aspect of any shooter is that weapons and armaments feel fun and satisfying to shoot, and Call of Duty is a masterclass in how to do shooting right. All of the guns strike that perfect balance between weighty and light, and the sounds, ammunition count, recoil, and overall feel of the guns never feel anemic. A lot of this has to do with the near-perfect controls, that have sensible button placements, especially on the controller, and look and ADS speeds that feel responsive, yet grounded. It's hard to imagine a shooter that makes shooting firearms feel as visceral and pleasing as Call of Duty. Depth. Call of Duty already has gunplay that many shooters envy, but even more than that is how deep the core systems surrounding the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay get. Not only do you have the guns, you also have access to battlefield tools and ordnance that let you heal yourself, blow enemies up, reveal enemies behind walls, and more. Taking this even further is the create a class system in multiplayer. Not only do you get to choose the guns and tools you take with you into battle, but also what passive buffs you have, and what customization your guns will employ. Call of Duty has only expanded the breadth of options, with a mechanic such as the gunsmith and field upgrades. There's also the sheer number of ways to play in Call of Duty. Typically, Call of Duty games will have a single player campaign, a fleshed out multiplayer with a slew of modes, and a horde survival mode, often zombies. Sometimes you'll see other modes and features besides. When it comes to the variety of content, as well as the content itself, COD is tough to beat. It's the benchmark of the AAA industry for a reason. Now that isn't to say other shooters are bad or that COD is the zenith of first person firepower flinging. There are plenty of flaws in COD that I, and virtually everyone else, are well aware of. But for better or worse, COD is the standard by which all other shooters compare, and I feel that, by and large, that place as the standard is well deserved. It's just too bad the company that owns the franchise is run by a money grubbing slime ball and fosters a workplace culture of horrific sexual harassment perpetuated by male execs and employees, some of whom dedicated their shrine to a convicted rapist. What does that have to do with COD, you ask? Ah, uh, nothing really. It's just that whole scandal produces new volumes of what the fuckery the longer it goes on, and frankly, that shit's not okay. The end!